Hey, what's up guys, Insomniac here. This video is basically going to be about how to uh, live stream if you are a partner. Um, I know some of you guys probably are. I got a couple of friends that are still trying to figure out how to do this. Now, if you don't have the option on your uh, little dashboard here where you are under video manager, you know, it should say live events right here. Now, if you don't have that, email your uh, network and they can send a request to uh, YouTube to enable that on your channel once you're already partnered and whatnot and uh, it takes a couple weeks to go through and, and then it should just pop up on your channel just like this now I'm gonna go through the process of setting up a uh, a live stream or whatnot you know in case you guys don't know exactly how to do this now you click live events right here now you see where it says Wirecast for YouTube. Now that is the program, one of them, you're going to need to uh, get it to show up on YouTube from whatever you want to stream. Another one that I use is Explit Broadcaster. I'm sure pretty much all of you know how to use that if you have it. Now that's what you're going to use to capture your game footage with whatever program you're uh, selected capture card has or uh, if you're capturing from your desktop playing computer games you're going to use Xsplit Broadcaster to uh, capture your screen to uh, show your games and you can set up the audio and whatnot you guys should know how to do that and then once you do that you click you know you have Wirecast you download it because that's going to go straight to your YouTube channel you select new live event and then you just put in your title and whatnot. You know, I'm going to do this uh, as an example, just test. You know, you choose your category. Mine's usually gaming, privacy setting. I'm going to do unlisted for this. Um, let's see here. Do agree. I'm in Eastern time. We'll change this to... 10 a.m. because it's almost 10 a.m. right now to 11 then you click create event and then this screen will pop up you know you can put a thumbnail in here or whatnot and then you know you just check it tells you exactly how to do it what you're using wirecast like you can have your choice you can use wirecast flash media encoder or other encoders i use wirecast because that's what i got click save on that then you go to live control room now this it tells how good your stream is now if you just get the free one you know some people have the more extensive one you can stream in high quality HD you know but you gotta be a pretty big YouTuber to be able to have those features for it and whatnot but I mean it still turns out pretty good if you watch a couple of my live streams now it shows you what resolution you're streaming in when you got Wirecast connected to your channel, it'll show up right here. And then, you know, it tells, you know, how long each person viewed your, uh, you know, the average time someone viewed your live stream. You know, it gives you alerts right here if there's any problems. It tells how long right here you've been streaming. And like I said, it tells the, the quality of your stream, whether it's good, bad, whatever. And down here... You really can't change any of these. It has location. You know, current viewers it has right here. Playbacks, average view duration, how how long each average view was. You, but yeah, you really can't change all this stuff unless you get the better one. And your comments show up right here. And that's basically it. And then, of course, like always, you know, you can view it on your channel. And that'd be right here, but of course there's going to be nothing there at all. So let me go back. Then you go back to Event Manager, and it's going to show this, where your live stream is taking place. And it just has, you know, my picture on there because I don't have anything going to it. Once your video is done, you know, give it a little bit of time depending on how long it is. If you just do a few minutes, it'll pop up in probably a minute or two. If you do a, an hour or two... Give it about 10 minutes, you know, for it to process and whatnot. And then when you click uploads, it'll be the latest thing, uh, you know, in the list of all your uploads. 
See, like, uh, let me see if I can find it. Right here, I was live streaming Halo 4 a couple days ago. That's basically what it's going to be, you know. Um, the one advantage over using live stream versus Google Plus now, or the Google Hangouts that stream to your channel, you can't claim that. You know, you cannot claim Google Hangouts. Let's see if I can find one in my list here that... Man, it's been a while since I've done one, huh? Let me see if I can find one and I'll show you. You'll notice the little claim thing is missing. Where's the, see right here. Wait, no, that's not it. I just didn't claim that for whatever reason. Where's the last Google Hangouts that I did? It didn't let me claim it. Okay, what the hell? Now I can't find it. Where's my last Google Hangout? I know I got one somewhere. Well, anyway, you know, you guys get the point. It th This little thing that says claimed will not show up with Google Hangouts. That's the only thing I don't like. So I might just start doing, you know, through, straight through YouTube once I figure out the audio settings and whatnot. But uh, other than that, that's basically how you do it. Um, it's pretty simple. Once you figure it out, like I said, if you don't have, if you're partnered and you don't have this live events, option under your uh, video manager contact your network email them say you know i'd like to request for live streaming on my youtube channel now that i'm partnered they will send a request to youtube and it should take a couple weeks you know it varies two to three weeks how long it takes for it to actually go through it took about two for mine and uh it was up there and i was able to do it so uh that's basically what how to get it if you're not partnered i'm sorry you're stuck with google hangouts but uh you know i just wanted to do this for the few people that i do interact with here on youtube that are partnered that are trying to figure this out you know i've had a few people ask me a couple questions about it well that's basically how you do it and uh you know hopefully i could help you guys out with that you know give this video a rating i greatly appreciate it share it on facebook or twitter for anybody else that may be wondering how to do this. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good morning.